I've noticed a huge difference in my life when I'm doing yoga regularly. I've never done yoga. And so all the stretching is like, uh... Are you sweating? Yeah. There's no sweating in <laughs> yoga. My breakup was hard because I loved her. It's hard to forgive myself. Is what I'm doing with my life good enough, meaningful enough? Who are you? What's the deeper truth? Let's do it. My name is Rudy Mattia, and I've been doing this for a long time, about, I guess, 20 years now. Yoga means to yoke, or to bring together the mind, the body, the spirit. If you have a really good mental practice, but you're not connected to your body, you're fractured, you know? If you have a very good physical practice, but you're not connected to your spirit or to the mind, you're fractured. So yoga is about not being fractured, yoga is about being whole. How long have you been practicing? I've never done yoga. Never? Ever. Excellent. And how long have you been doing it? Three, four years. Are you guys athletic? Oh, extremely. Extremely. I like the cocky ones because what happens is then they start crying later on. Like, it wasn't as hard as I thought. <laughs> For a long time, the yoga didn't torture me enough to make it feel like I was getting a workout. So that also meant I was drawn towards Bikram. I've noticed a huge difference in my life when I'm doing yoga regularly. I've never done yoga, but that intimidates me a little bit just because I, I used to dance and my hips are a little funny. We're going to take the right leg and lift the right leg to the sky. As you exhale, bring your knee right to your nose, kind of an upper push-up position. Knee to nose and squeeze in. Inhale, take the right leg back up to the sky. This time, you're going to bring the knee to the nose, but here's the unfortunate part. You will step your right foot right by your right thumb. And what will happen, <laughs> yeah, you're like me, your foot almost gets there. Reach down and grab your foot and pull it up there. Now, as you hang out in that right hip, I want you guys to lift your chest up and then run your arms down, like arms down your ribs like you're diving falcon. Are you sweating? Yeah. There's no sweating in <laughs> yoga. Ego plays a huge part in athletics at the professional level. And so I came back to the sport after four years of being off and doing yoga and was kind of like in the process of digesting my ego. You guys wanna do a little cardiovascular work? I'll take silence as a big yes. <laughs> so take the right leg and float it up this guy. No competing or comparing, but step your right foot forward into crescent. So you're gonna stay on your back toes this time. Step the right foot all the way between the fingertips. All the way, get, and then take that foot, get it all the way up. And then lift your arms to the sky. Lift your torso tall and rise up. Rise up. Now this is where, yeah, you're gonna tumble, fumble, and stumble. Just don't let the tumble, fumble, stumble turn to mumble. So in yoga, they talk about if you lean too, oh, where are you going? They, <laughs> they say if you lean too far forward, it's like leaning into the future. If you lean too far back, it's like being in the past. We wanna be right there, present moment, stacked right over the hips. Oh yeah, by the way, y'all breathing? You are, kinda. Take one more breath here. Bring your hands to your waist. Inhale, pull the shoulders back. Lift the chest up, hinging at your hips. Fall all the way forward. Power yoga with Rudy was awesome. It turned out to be really cool and extremely difficult. So that's a taste for you, man. I hope you keep it up. <laughs> and especially for you, I hope you, you know, continue because uh, you, know, you have a uh, look like you've been practicing for 100 years. So namaste just literally means that light in me recognizes the light in you. So on that, namaste. namaste. It was cool, like, you know, to, A, for me to try yoga for the first time, I'd never done it. It's something I'd definitely try again. Even though he, he's beginning to piss me off, I'm like shaking and dripping buckets. I'm like, dude, you see, I'm at like my physical limit right now. And he's like, okay, let's talk, let me talk about an, an analogy for five minutes. I really liked Rudy Mathia. I think that his type of practice really resonates with me as like an athlete who wants to feel the burn. It was actually a good break in the midst of all this serious, deep, esoteric, yeah strange stuff to have someone that's like, work your muscles.
this will help you as you continue on your journey.